Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sabrina and I'm back with another Excel tutorial. If this is your first time here and you're looking to develop your Excel skills, then start now by subscribing and hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going through how you can add 3D objects or models in your Excel spreadsheet. And we'll also look at how you can rotate those models um, and tilt them up and down to show a specific feature of that particular object, right? Now, to insert a 3D model, what you would do is you would go up to the Insert tab. You would then go to the Illustrations command. Okay, so you just click on the drop down there. And then here, at the bottom, you want to go towards the right where it says 3D models. OK, so this will allow you to search for um, a range of 3D models available in the online library. So if you click on the drop down arrow, you do have two options there. You can either select a 3D model that might be saved on your computer or you can search um, through the online library as well. Okay, so if you click on stock 3D models, this will open up the online 3D models and all the 3D models are basically grouped by different categories. Okay, so you've got options of animated objects as well. Um, so for example, you've got animated models, animated animals, animated for education. Okay, and then you have um, actual 3D models as well to choose from. Again, all uh, grouped by different categories. All right. So if you scroll down, you can actually uh, search through the categories and find the one that find the one that you're after. Um, so you'll just click on the appropriate one. Um, now I'll show you the um, an example of an animated model and an actual, you know, like just a simple 3D model. Okay, so let's have a look at an animated one. Let's go through animated animals. If you click on view all, this will give you some examples here, okay, of different animals. So um, let me pick one. I think I'll pick. Uh, okay, so let's pick an image of a dog here. So if you click on that, and then click insert. Okay, so it will say it's inserting. So you just need to give it some time. Um, and then once that's done, the animated model will appear for you there. So there you go. So you can see the little puppy there. Um, and it's animated, right? Which is pretty cool, actually. Um, now, when you select the model on the top where it says 3D model, you do get a few options available here, um, one of which is 3D model views. So you can actually change the view um, of that model. So, for example, if I selected the second one here, it gives me a side view of that puppy. Um, if I select this one here, Okay, this is the top view. So you can actually browse through and select a view that's appropriate for you, the one that you prefer. Okay, so that's the bottom view. So I'm just going to go for the front view here. Okay, um, there is a little um, icon in the, in the center of that object, which is used to rotate that model, right? Um, so you would basically use it's a, this is called base this is called a 3d control um so what you would do is if you just click and hold on that control and then if you just start moving it around okay you can see i can now start you know rotating the 3d object to um, a position that i prefer okay so for example like this so it's very similar to the 3D model views, okay? These are like preset views that you can go for and click on, or you can use the control icon in the middle and, you know, set it to a view that you prefer. Okay, alternatively, if you if I just drag this little down, you do have the rotate, uh, the rotate uh, command or option here at the top. So you've got the arrow. Okay, so you can click and hold on the arrow and that will also 
rotate the image for you. Okay, so it rotates 360 degrees. Um, so that is to rotate the image, whereas the control button in the center is more for, you know, um, sort of giving you a different uh, 3D view of that object. Right? Okay, so that's that's that. Um, you can also resize the image as well. So you can just hover your mouse over one of the circles in the corner of the uh, image box. Okay. So when you see a double uh, white arrow, you can then press and hold your mouse and then you could just drag it to resize that image. So you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller as well. All right. So that's for resizing. You've got a little pause icon there as well for the animation. So if you click on pause, that will literally pause <laughs> the um, animated animal. Okay, so it will keep it there. Um, but you can click on the play icon again, and that will play your animated um, model. You've also got at the top um, under the 3D model tab, if you go to play 3D, okay, you've got a command called scenes. So um, if you click on the drop down arrow here, you've got different scenes available for this animated object. Okay, so if I click on scene two, it will just basically behave, do a different behavior, uh, which is also very cool. So um, there's that one. If you click on scene three, okay, he'll do something else there. Okay, so he's doing a, um, a jump. So you can actually select, you know, different scenes um that you prefer <laughs> right um so the these options are basically available for the animated 3d models all right um now let's go back to insert again so if you go back to insert and then go down to illustrations if you click on the drop down arrow and then go down to 3d models again so if you click on the drop down arrow again um, and then click on stock 3D models. That will take you back into the same screen. Okay, so it will take you back into the online 3D models page. So we've already looked at, at an animated animal, um, but I'm gonna show you a simple 3D model as well. So let's go down to, let's choose one of the categories here. Um, so we could go for clothing. We can go for, um, there's lots of options actually. Uh, monsters, monsters, characters. Okay, let's just go for. I think we'll go for clothing. Okay. Um, so if you click on view all, so you've got different clothing items here to choose from. Um, so I'm just going to choose this watch here. Okay. So if you click on the watch and then click insert. Okay. So again, it just it's going to load the 3D model on your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so this is your 3D model, right? Now, the difference between this 3D model and this one is that this, the dog, um, is an animated 3D model, whereas this one is not animated, all right? Um, so the watch, um, so again, you've got a control icon in the middle of that image, so you can just, you know, um, click and hold on that control icon and then you can start, you know, moving your mouse um, and that will just give you a different view um, of the watch. So you can set it to what you prefer. Okay. You can resize the image as well. So you can just um, hover your mouse over one of the circles um, in one of the corners of that image and then just drag it to make it smaller or bigger. Okay. So you can do that as well. Um, you have the rotate icon at the top as well. So the arrow. So you can click and hold the arrow and you can rotate it uh, 360 degrees. Okay, so you can rotate the image. Um, and if you click on the 3D model at the top, um, you've got 3D model views. So you can actually select one of these preset views as well. So like this one. Okay, again, it just basically gives you a different view of that image. Okay, so it gives you a side view, a front view, a top view, a bottom view. 
um, and so on. Okay, so you can select the one that the one that you prefer. Okay, so that's three D models. Um, you may uh, find it useful. Um, it really depends on what kind of spreadsheet you're creating, and you may find that you know three D models, um, you know, would help make your spreadsheet look effective. So um, I hope that's helped. If it has, please do like and share the video, and do consider subscribing to the channel because I am uploading new videos on a daily basis. All right. Okay, th guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.